My father was an assistant director at MGM in the early 50s. Uh, his name was Howard Koch. In those days, you worked six-day weeks all the time. Really? Even in L.A., yeah. It was a six-day week. So I never really saw him very much. And he wasn't a guy that ever took vacations. So the only time I could ever see my father was on location. I'd go to, to, to wherever he was shooting. For anybody who's been on a set, you don't want to stand around a set with nothing to do. So I always found something to do. I worked with the prop guys or the camera guys or electricians or the ADs or, you know, I hit the slate, uh, whatever. It's even today, when I walk on a movie set, I'm home. It's my home. And so, uh, and it's my home because that was so familiar to me. Yeah. Many, many years ago, 1976, 77, I guess, I met with Warren Beatty. Uh, I had done a movie with Warren called Parallax View, and he wanted me to exec produce and assistant direct a movie he was going to direct for the first time called Heaven Can Wait. He knew that I was a sports nut, and uh, he said one of the hardest things to do was going to be to pull off doing the Super Bowl for the climax of the film, and how could we do it? And I read the script came back to Warren and told Warren how I thought we could do it. He said, cool, and we made the deal. I put together the Super Bowl for that movie, and it was very exciting. We had 14 minutes at halftime of a, of a Ram game to shoot everything that's... Any time you see the Coliseum at night or any of their football stuff at night, uh, that was that one night in those 14 minutes. We had a full team of... Pittsburgh Steelers in uniform and a full team of the LA Rams and coaches and linesmen and referees. We rehearsed that afternoon just off near the Coliseum. Billy Fraker was the cameraman and had Davey Walsh and Bobby Byrne and all these guys working. We had six cameras. Uh, Jack Teal was the general manager of the Rams. And he kept bugging me for weeks saying, you know, are you sure you're going to give us a good halftime? Because, you know, the Rams, the, the fans are always really interested in a great halftime. And I said, I think it's going to be fun, Jack. He said, well, you know, I want to make sure it's a great halftime. When halftime came, I had hired Paul Paterni. Paul was the announcer for the Rams. And uh, I said to Paul, as soon as halftime starts, you announce to the whole Coliseum, don't go away, folks, because tonight at halftime, the Rams are going to win the Super Bowl. Everybody that was leaving the stands to go out and get a hot dog turned around, sat down, cheered. All the Rams in uniform were former Rams like uh, Deacon Jones and Jack Snow and all these guys that they all loved were all in the movie. We had to sell that we were really at the Coliseum in front of hundreds of thousands of fans. This wasn't like today where you can put vis effects, you can put them in. We wanted to make sure that everybody knew that Warren was the quarterback. So, and in those days, you did Zoom. <laughs> you don't do a lot of, if you remember 70s movies, you right. did a lot of Zooming. How I find so, Right. So, we, <laughs> so we, we started close in the huddle, and we brought him out of the huddle and close up where you could actually see Warren's face. And then we Zoomed back, and you saw the entire Coliseum and realized that was Warren. And we did the immaculate reception, similar to the famous Franco Harris were people told that yeah, this is a movie? A oh, yes. Yeah, well, there was a big sign out front. You know, when you come in tonight, we're filming, you know. But uh, they cheered, and we, we just had a great time. When that was over, I was, I had, I remember I had a shirt and like a sweatshirt and then a, like a zip-up jacket on. And when that 14 minutes was over, I had sweated through everything because the, the nerves of putting all that together. And I remember Warren saying, come on, I want to do another one, another one. And I said, no, the real Steelers and the real Rams are coming on the field. We're done, Warren, but we got it. And we did. <laughs>